Welcome to the full moon in Virgo. Let's see who is next. Leo's up next. All right, Leo, let's take a look and see where we are at for this full moon in Virgo. This moon will happen on March 17th or 18th, just depending upon your time zone. And we are gonna be looking, Leo, at the headspace, the heart space, and whoa okay well we're gonna take two cards for the physical then let's see what we have here so in the headspace we have the five of cups in the heart space we have the seven of cups in the physical realm we have the queen of cups with the five of wands so okay leo we in our feels we in our feels. I gotta think about this. Leo's son. I'm a Leo's son, so I gotta think about this. All right. Let's take a look at this story. And you know, I just did the Gemini one right before this, and we started in a completely different order, and I think I'm gonna go there again and start with this physical realm because it was interesting when they... When I had laid them down, they were kind of overlapping like this. And I had separated them out here to give them, you know, let them have their own energy. And it was like, nope, they need to overlap like this. So this is the overlapping. It's this like, and look, she is looking at these five. They kind of look like brothers, to be honest with you but she is looking at these five individuals that are fighting, sparring, um, maybe playing some cosplay, I don't know. But she is steady watching them like, what are you doing? What's happening right now? Like, why are we here? Why are you bringing this energy up into my space? Look, look at her face. I'm going to try and get as close as I can. She looks fucking pissed, Leo. And her dogs are not amused. So Leo, for some Leos out there in the physical realm, what are you what are you worrying about or, um, and not worrying in a sense of like battling, but like push and pull, like tugging. What are you like teeter tottering on? What are you, um, what, where is the static in the physical realm for you, Leo, that needs to be broken up and released during this full moon? Where is this space that is overlapping the badass queen that you are and king, quite frankly, either one, but where is this static starting to bleed in and knocking you off this, you know, I want to say off your game, but more so out of your, out of your truth out of your wholeness. When we think about Virgo season, um, or Virgo season, excuse me, when we think about the Virgo full moon, Virgo full moon, Virgo in itself is all about coming back to wholeness. It's about understanding that you are perfectly whole in this exact moment, that you are exactly where you need to be, that you are able to analyze, you're able to um, see all of the things that are going to happen going forward, right? Like, okay, this is where I want to go. I, I know what it's going to take for me to get there, but even, even right now I'm complete. I'm complete in my journey today. And that is kind of whatever energy in the physical realm that could be a whole bunch of things. I mean, that could be the news, quite frankly, turn it the fuck off. That could be social media, take a fucking break. That could be um, your family, don't answer your fucking phone. 
turn it off. That could be um, your job. Maybe take a PTO day. See if you can get some time off. Um, that could be friends. Say no. Have 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 good fucking boundaries, Leo. Like, there's always things that you can do. Whatever is bleeding into, and again, it's not a lot. This was just a little overlap. But whatever static you have around me, I really feel, and especially with this five of cups up in the headspace, which we're gonna get to next, I really feel, Leo, that you need to manage that. You need to manage it because this Virgo full moon is way too important. We got Aries season right around the corner and this Virgo full moon is letting us know where in our daily habits, where in our, um, in our daily understandings, where two of swords, where we need to make small incremental changes to our habits, our routines, um, on a daily basis. It's the small things. It's not the big ass things, Leo. It's the really minute, like something as simple as, well, I really want to start getting up at four o'clock in the morning and working out. Yep, time to stop talking about it. Time to start doing it. Yeah, but, but for whatever this is. But my partner doesn't support that, doesn't wanna get up that early. I don't give a fuck. What does that have to do with you? That has nothing to do with you. Do you wanna do it? Go do it then. Go do it. So that is really, it's, it's, and again, yes, this two of swords is very cutting. You have a lot of feelings here. You have a lot of cups here. It is emotional energy. Leo, we are in Pisces season. There will be a stellium in Pisces until April. So yeah, you are gonna feel your feels. What you need to do, and two of swords again, is you need to separate feelings from facts. Feelings, you can feel whatever type of way you want. Your feelings are valid, how, they, how you process through them, how they show up for you, how you're triggered by them, how you work with them. All of those things are incredibly valid and part of the human experience. But when it comes down to what you are looking at achieving and what energy you're needing to transform into the Leo that will get you there, that will have this manifestation come to you, you have to separate those feelings from facts. The fact is your partner may not want to wake up at 4 a.m. and go work out with you. That has nothing to do with you doing it. Fact. You can still do that. You can. You don't need your partner to do it. It's on you to do it. And that, look, two of swords coming out quick, Leo. Um, that is this energy signature in the physical realm. Let's go up into the headspace because this all ties together. Oh, Leo, look at this guy. Look at this five of cups. Oh, downtrodden, Leo. All up in the headspace. All up in this headspace, just like, mm, somebody come save me. Mm, I lost my cups. Eh. Like, I just whiny in the head, Leo. Turn around. Turn around, Leo. You got two cups behind there. Look, lay these cups to rest. Whatever didn't work out, whatever process you were going down that didn't bear fruit for you, don't worry about it. Let it go. It wasn't meant for you. I have a saying that the universe never, ever tells you no. It tells you not now. And not now might not be in your lifetime, in this current timeline that you are in. That's okay. Not now, you are never told no. It's just not now. 
change the mindset. Change the mindset to turn around and look at these two cups. Look at the gifts that are behind you. Look at the doors that are open because this didn't occur. Because these three cups spilled, these two cups came about, right? Because these three doors closed, you have these two other doors. If you are willing, if you are willing to separate fact and feeling. Separate your facts and feelings, Leo. Get real clear on it. We ain't got time to waste, right? Moving through, pride needs us. Seven of wands with the five of cups. Battle it out. Whatever you need to do, separate your facts and feelings, battle that out in your head, get real clear with some radical honesty, and then just do the next step forward. Don't sit here and lament on these three cups. Go find that door. All things happen for you. So what is the lesson? What, was, what adjustments do you need to make? What attitude shifts do you need to have? What mindset differences do you need to have? These are all these daily, small routines and habits that we have created that we need to sort through and we need to move through, through this Virgo full moon. So that way, when we get to Aries season, we on and popping. We are seeing the spring. We are seeing all the things grow, shoot up out of the ground. We are seeing fruit be bared and we are moving through now a new energetic cycle, a new Zodiac new year. All new energy available. In the seven of cups in the heart, your heart kind of already knows this. Your heart already knows everything that I'm telling you. Because these are the seven doors that are available that are like, well, choose your own adventure. What do you want, Leo? What do you want? You can't get it if all you're going to do is sit here and pout about these three cups. Doesn't work like that. You can't get it if all you can hear is this static. You have to clear out the clutter. You have to clear out the clutter because look at this. I mean, look, we have got, okay, I'm gonna try and do this. Let me get closer, let me get closer. We have doves, white doves flying, peace, fulfillment. We have dragon. Okay, maybe we don't wanna go through that door or that cup, I don't know. Maybe you do. This might actually look really fun. It depends upon where you're at in your life. We have the beautiful rose, love, ultimate um, union and fulfillment. What is this one? Oh, jewelry, tangible items, goods, having material gain, having prosperity and abundance in life, a castle. Um, Leo, I want to live in a motherfucking castle. What door is that? Angel wings being blessed and protected, being super connected to your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, whatever you prescribe to. And then look at this woman right here. This is like ultimate peace of mind. Look at all that's available. All of that's available. Your heart knows it's available. Your heart knows the way. Your heart knows the way, Leo. That's, I can put this down. That is the message. Your heart knows the way. Your heart knows how to separate facts from feelings. Tune in, get in, and then adjust as necessary. But let's go, Leo. It's time. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. That was the full moon in Virgo reading on the island. We do have three moons this month. So I will see you at the very end of March for the new moon in Aries. Bye.